can. Can. Are you can. can. Yeah, as well. like, nah, no can out yeah. here at Broward Beat down too. Yeah, my first time in Florida. Oh. First time this this far south ever in my life. Far south I've been before this was in Austin. So uh, I feel like I'm home, low key. That's where all my family's from. You know. What's up, man? You got a new mixtape out? Well, I actually have a new album out. Last it, it dropped last Tuesday on the 26th. Got number 35 on the iTunes charts. So I'm top 40. Fucking only independent artist up there. So you know, it's called Jimmy the Lock. Go pick it up. Yeah. Jimmy the Lock, No Can Do on Alpha Pub Records. It's all about my life. And uh, you were featured in LA Weekly this week. Featured in LA Weekly, LA Record, and a little bit more. I got a lot. I got a lot of press. If I, if I open up my BlackBerry, I got a bunch of emails from a bunch of motherfuckers that wrote about my shit. And in Herb. And I don't want to say, but really, what I want to say is like, thank you very much for buying my shit. Whoever bought, bought it and whoever's gonna buy it, thank you for buying it. Because it's the first time LA underground rappers done what I did in 10 years. 10 years since this has happened. So it's a, it's a landmark for the decade, which means. That we got a lot more coming out. I also started a label called Hellfire Records, and so I got other artists that's gonna come out and do the same numbers. And you know, that's what's up. Uh, one line in the in the Dirtbag Dan uh, battle, everybody was talking about was when you said I got the style that uh, that Borat and Passwords and Mac uh, bit. Uh, you know, did you mean that? What, what was about that? Everybody's talking about that line. Well, I don't know. I'm a young dude, but I've been around for a very long time. It is not that anybody bit my style, but I definitely have. I, I can honestly say that I have influence over all that multi-syllabic you know shit that that happened. That's commonplace now. But back when me and XI were doing it and O2. 03, it was unheard of. Yep. Bottom line. Definitely. And, uh, you know, they're having the uh, two on two World Rap Championships. Who, are you going to be in that? Or are you, uh, who's going to be your partner, if so? Uh, I haven't even thought about that yet. A few people have asked me. But, uh, like, I got a bunch of shit that's lined up, like tours and everything. And really, it's hard. It, it is honestly hard to do music and to battle at the same time. So, uh, and especially to think about battling a bunch of motherfuckers and two on two working with somebody. That's actually, we got to sit down and we got to think because if I'm in the game, I'm in it to win it. I'm not in it to play it, you know? I'm not in it to take a L, you know, if I take an L, with damn near just to deserve, and if I win, that's what I intended to do in the beginning, you know? Definitely. You got recognized today. How you feel about that? Uh, you know, he's right over here. Maybe he can tell you, but, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to do my best I can do. That's you know? what's up. Any, any, he's an OG, so, you know. Any, uh, any battle uh, plan for Grind Time uh, next, or are you going to uh, concentrate on music after this? I do not have a plan. Any, I'm going to concentrate on music. Whatever comes, whatever comes up, I'm going to do it. That's what's up, man. Any shout out? Uh, Hellfire Club, Alpha Pup Records, LA Underground. Peace.